Tesla has been one of the most talked about stocks in recent times. I regularly get asked by people whether I think the stock is a good buy still or whether it's a bubble that's destined to crash. I never give financial advice of course, but I think there is value in walking through how I personally value the company. So to briefly summarise the stock's history, it stayed relatively flat for many years before exploding in 2020, taking the company from a market cap of around $30 billion to over $600 billion. The stock price peaked at around $900 per share in January of 2021 before retreating around 25% to its current price in the mid 600s, where it's been at since February. Judging by the comment section of any Tesla article on the Financial Times, many people seem to think that Elon Musk is a fraud and Tesla is horrendously overvalued. Based on today's fundamentals, I agree, the Tesla valuation is a bit rich, but for a company that's growing exponentially at such a staggering rate, you have to look further into the future than just the next year. This is why I model Tesla out five years into the future, to the end of 2025. Also, just before I start, it's worth mentioning that my model is more on the conservative side of things. I haven't included potential huge future business opportunities such as robo-taxis and Tesla insurance, as there isn't enough solid information currently. So, starting with automotive sales, management have said that these will grow at least 50% per year for the next few years, with 2021 and 2022 likely to be significantly more. This gives around 5.5 million deliveries for 2025. This might seem crazy at first, but Tesla already has the factories to deliver this once they have ramped to max capacity. Giga Texas and Berlin are due to start producing their first vehicles in Q4 of this year. So it's of course unlikely that they'll be fully ramped for 2025, but Tesla will build additional factories during this time. In 2023, they are expected to release the $25,000 car, which I expect will have multiple purpose built factories to handle the demand around the world. Tesla has $20 billion currently in the bank that grows each quarter, so they have more than enough resources to do this now without the additional funding. Now onto the full self-drive software. Most people are still naive to what Tesla has already achieved in this space, and it is a significant part of the valuation. Around the world, customers can pay $10,000 or $199 per month subscription for Autopilot, which in its current state is essentially an advanced driver assist. This probably doesn't seem worth it currently, however, this is in anticipation of full self-drive, which is the software that will allow the car to drive itself completely unassisted by a human. 2,000 testers in America are currently using the beta version 9 of this software. The beta is very advanced, with it not uncommon for the testers to go a full drive without needing to intervene. Once full self-drive comes out of beta and into full release, there will be significant revenue generated as many people buy the software add-on. This is expected to happen in America first, later this year, and then Europe and the rest of the world shortly after. Of the 1.4 million Teslas delivered before 2021, about 1 million of them have the necessary hardware for full self-drive. The best estimate of the number of customers who have purchased full self-drive currently is 27%. I believe that this will increase to 30% in 2025 as the software improves. The monthly subscription is for customers who do not want to pay the 10k upfront, which could be for many reasons such as leasing the car, not having that sum of money to spare, not being 100% sure you want it, etc. Paying upfront is the better deal as it adds value to their Tesla, whereas the subscription does not. I think it's reasonable to think that around 40% of customers who do not purchase it upfront will use the subscription model by 2025. This means that over 4 million customers are paying $199 every single month in 2025. This is a very strong recurring revenue. As Tesla mass produce more affordable cars, the average selling price will fall. This does get counterbalanced by increased volume production of the more expensive models, such as the S and the X. However, the $25,000 car being produced in 2023 will likely bring it down significantly, with my 2025 prediction being $40,000. This translates to $220 billion in revenue from selling cars for 2025, with an additional $26 billion in revenue coming from the full self-drive software. 
16 of which was from the upfront purchases and 10 from monthly subscriptions. Elon has previously said that Tesla energy will eventually be more significant than the car part of Tesla's business. The total addressable market is indeed much bigger for energy, but I don't think Tesla will grow its energy business to that level until the next decade, so I have forecasted revenue growth of 30% per year for now. I have predicted the services revenue to grow by 30% per year too. The reason why this growth is much lower than the automotive sales growth is as Tesla has said that the best service is no service. They are designing their cars to require as little servicing as possible to minimise cost for customers, which means services revenue will be minimised. This leads to a total revenue of $263 billion. Now the margins. Elon has stated that the goal is to get automotive gross margins to 30%. So forecasting 25% in 2025 is probably quite conservative, but realistic. Full self-drive revenue is software as a service, which usually has a gross margin between 90 and 95%. The software continuously improves itself through machine learning. So once it is complete, there won't be a vast army of programmers needed to maintain it. There is a high cost for the supercomputers and servers to store and run the data on. So gross margin of 90% seems reasonable. I expect Tesla energy gross margins to improve to 15% and services gross margins to maintain a negative 15%. This gives Tesla's overall business a gross margin of 30% in 2025, which is in line with the goal stated by Elon. It should be noted that these margins will be one of Tesla's many competitive advantages when compared with other competitors in the auto industry. This translates to a gross profit of $55 billion for automotive, $24 billion from full self-drive software, $1 billion from Tesla Energy and a $1 billion loss from services. This gives a total gross profit of $79 billion in 2025. VC firm Loop Ventures recently released a note suggesting Tesla will achieve $102 billion in operating profit in 2032 from their full self-driving software. It's always nice as a sense check to see a very successful company producing numbers on a similar sort of arc as mine. The operating expense of Tesla will, of course, snowball as Tesla scales up and increases the employee headcount. I'd grow it at 50% per year in my model, leading to a $35 billion expense in 2025. Going from operating income to net income can be quite challenging to forecast as it's very hard to predict how Tesla will be servicing its debt and what non-operating income and expenses may be incurred in the future. I took the approach to look at how companies of similar sizes now to Tesla in 2025 to see what their ratio of operating income to net income is. Microsoft is 87%, Amazon's is 80%, Apple is 86%. To keep on the conservative side, I go with the lowest, which is 80%. This is lower than Toyota's ratio, so in line with other car companies, but I see Tesla as more of an AI company that makes cars rather than a straight car company, hence the comparisons. This provides Tesla with just under $35 billion of net income for 2025. So how does this translate into a valuation? I look at the price to earnings ratio. Tesla currently trades at a PE ratio of 650, which is exceptionally high. The reason being is that the company only recently became profitable. If you look at any other large growth company's PE ratio shortly after going from losing money to making money, you will see the same. In 2025, this is, of course, going to be much lower. I do think that in 2025, Tesla will be valued with the same ratio to which Amazon is valued today. Tesla isn't just disrupting the auto industry, it is also disrupting energy storage with Powerwall, solar with solar roof, computing chips with Dojo, potentially HVAC systems, car charging and many more. This is similar to Amazon today, with the company rapidly growing in multiple industries and sectors. It's worth noting that if RoboTaxi comes to fruition, the multiple will be way higher as Tesla's growth will be even crazier. A PE of 69 puts Tesla at a market cap of $2.4 trillion, 
roughly what Apple is worth today. I forecast outstanding shares to increase to about 1.1 billion due to Elon Musk's pay package and that all employees are given many shares as bonuses and compensation. This gives me a 2025 price target of $2,189 per share. This is for the end of 2025, by the way. For the required return, I would usually use the capital asset pricing model or the weighted average cost of capital to get a value, but these give a fairly low percentage. Just using common sense, I think a return of 20% per year would be what most Tesla investors expect and demand from the stock. A very unscientific approach, but I do feel it's necessary for Tesla. This discounts back to an end of 2021 price target of $1,056 per share, meaning there is a 64% upside from the current share price over the next six months based on my view of the world. And I have to emphasize this is exactly that, just my view of the world. So I am very happy to buy up shares of Tesla as part of my growth strategy with spare money and will continue to do so in the near term while the stock remains sub 1k. That's my forecast and model for Tesla but the real world usually does not play out like a model predicts. While I am confident that Tesla will reach a share price in the 2000s by at least 2025, I do not think that the growth will be a clean arc. My real world prediction is that the stock will remain volatile for the rest of 2021, moving within the range of $550 and $800 per share. Then, in 2022, when the Texas and Berlin factories are ramping production, I think the market will rapidly recognise the exponential growth in the deliveries and the stock price will shoot up. And also, once the full self-drive software has been released widely, I think the stock will rapidly shoot up as the market starts to recognise the scale of the high margin revenue that Tesla will generate. These, of course, are just my predictions. I do not have a crystal ball to look into the future, so I could be very wrong with them. But for now, I have conviction in my model and forecast, so I will continue to drink up any Tesla shares I can get my hands on. Let me know in the comments what you think of Tesla, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Have a good day guys. Mm -hmm.